I think there's an event driven aspect to this where our shorts tend to be shorter duration. They tend to be catalyst driven. Just generally speaking, value shorts don't work nearly as well as value longs. And so all of the empirical evidence, all of the kind of uh, academic literature on this will say you can get run over right? you can short things that are at 50 times earnings and they can go to 300 times earnings and so that's a, a poor strategy but you will bankrupt yourself if your strategy relies on just shorting high valuation stocks because the market can be irrational longer than you can remain solvent and so our view is we we, we tend to size our shorts much much smaller you know a two percent or a three percent position is typical on the short side whereas with a very high conviction long we may we may put seven to ten percent of the portfolio in one long idea you know, for a, a short duration. So, you know, again, we tend to be about 30 or 40% gross short positions and kind of 100 to 130% gross long positions. So in general, we're long biased. So our benchmark is really the Russell 2000, but we're able to offset some low valuation longs with some high valuation shorts and with some catalyst shorts, companies that are going to miss earnings, companies that are issuing a lot of stock, companies that are doing dilutive things like, you know, Poor acquisitions. There's a lot of different strategies that we've learned over the last 20 years that can be accretive on the long side and the short side.